This is the case of Tinker versus Des Moines. The year is 1968, and America is in the midst of the Vietnam War. People weren't too happy with the way that the war was going, and they weren't afraid of letting the government know they were not happy. Many protests were staged. These protests included burning draft cards, sit-ins, and forming marches. People across the nation were vocalizing their displeasure with America's actions in Vietnam. But the times, they were a-changin', and people wanted to do more than talk about their desire for peace. They began displaying their political views on their clothing. This brings us to the Tinker family. Living in Des Moines, Iowa, the Tinkers were one of many families that were opposed to the war. One day, the Tinker children, John, who was 15, and Mary Beth, who was 13, decided to show their political stance on the Vietnam War in school. The Tinker children, along with one of their friends, showed up at school one day around the Christmas season with black armbands that had peace signs on them to protest the war. The principals of the school district heard about the Tinker siblings' plans. Fearing that the armbands would cause a disturbance in their schools, the principals decided to give the students a choice. They could take off the armbands or wear the armbands and be suspended. The principals confronted the Tinker siblings, but they refused to take off their armbands. They would not compromise their political beliefs. The Tinker siblings and their friends were suspended until after New Year's Day, but they believed this action would violated their First Amendment rights. They took the Des Moines School District to court. The case ended up making it all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court was faced with a question. Does a prohibition against the wearing of armbands in public school as a form of symbolic protest violate the First Amendment's freedom of speech protections? The court decided that it did. They ruled the Des Moines School District's actions unconstitutional. They agreed that while a school district does have the right to limit what its students do, wear, and say, there needs to be proper justification for these limitations. The Supreme Court concluded that there was insufficient justification for suspending the Tinker siblings and their friend. The court said that the Tinker siblings' actions were protected by their First Amendment right to freedom of speech. Although wearing an armband isn't exactly free speech, the court ruled that the Tinker's protest of the war was closely akin to free speech. Justice Abe Fortas stated about the case, It can hardly be argued that either students or teachers shed their constitutional rights to freedom of speech or expression at the schoolhouse gate. While schools certainly have the right to establish rules relating to the length of skirts or the type of clothing, to hairstyle or aggressive disruptive action or even group demonstrations, this case does not involve any of those issues. The school officials banned and sought to punish petitioners for a silent, passive expression of opinion, unaccompanied by any disorder or disturbance on the part of the petitioners. There is, uh, there is no evidence whatever of petitioners' interference with the school's work or of collision with the rights of other students to be secure and to be let alone. Accordingly, this case does not concern speech or action that intrudes upon the work of the schools or the rights of other students. The decision was made seven votes to two. This case is important to today's society, specifically to students. As Justice Abe Ford has said, teachers and students keep their constitutional rights, especially those of freedom of speech and freedom of expression, even in school. The Supreme Court ruling in the case of Tinker v. Des Moines School District protects students from having their constitutional rights violated.